Here's the field for the 10th race. Number one, Dreamy Girl and Walter Paisley. Number two is Royal Strike and Merv Chop. Number three, Cricks with Dalvin Allen Skull. Number four, Horseman's Carol, Dave McGee. Number five is Shelby Abbey, Jim Curran. Number six is Starwood Sarah, Randy Jacobs. Seven, Lake Hills Gold, Tony Morgan. Eight, Striking Oil, Daryl Bussey. Number nine, Sydney's Cassie, Homer Hoxtether will drive. That's the field. Eight minutes. Here they come. They're off. Starwood, Sarah on the outside going right for the lead. There goes Dreamy Girl, and it's those two into that first turn. Dreamy Girl is on the inside, but Starwood, Sarah, and Starwood, Sarah now takes command. It's Dreamy Girl, second, three like Sydney's Cassie is in third. She'll be Abbey Park now drops in on the inside of horses. That's Royal Strike. Followed now by Cricks, Horseman's Carol, Strike Cane Oil, and Lake Hills Gold. Your leader by the quarter is Starwood, Sarah. The first quarter, 29 seconds flat, and Starwood Sarah has a three-length lead. It's Dreamy Girl's second, three lengths, Sydney's Cassie. In third, two lengths, it's Shelby Abbey. In fourth, now a length and a quarter, Royal Strike to the outside. It's Horseman's Carol, followed by Cricks. Approaching the half-mile marker, it's Starwood Sarah by three lengths. It's Dreamy Girl in second. On the outside, it's Chilvey Abbey now in second. It's Dreamy Girl back to third, Sydney's Cassie and Royal Strike. They're halfway home, 58 and 4 into the clubhouse turn, and Starwood Sarah maintains the lead three lengths. It's Dreamy Girl on the inside, followed by Shelby Abbey, third, first of her. On the outside of horses, it's Royal Strike, Sydney's Cassie. On the outside, Horseman's Carol, she's moving up three wide. Now they curve into the back stretch. Here comes Shelby Abbey. She'll be Abbey up on the outside now to take command. It's Starwood Sarah second on the outside. Dreamy Girl. But here comes Horseman's Carol three wide. Now they drive into the far turn. She'll be Abbey by three lengths. On the outside, Dreamy Girl moves between horses. It's Horseman's Carol into third. Now they're in the final eighth of a mile. It's Shilby Abbey under urging. It's Dreamy Girl, Horseman's Carol. Here comes Lake Hills Gold from far back. Down the stretch, it's Shilby Abbey with the lead. On the outside, it's Lake Hills Gold. Here comes Lake Hills Gold. Jimmy Curran going to the whip. It's Shilby Abbey and Lake Hills Gold. Those two at the wire. That is a photo. In the photo, number seven, Lake Hills Gold was first. Number five, Shelby Abbey was second. Number one, Dreamy Girl third. Number four, Horseman's Carol was four. Returning to the winner's circle, number seven, Lake Hills Gold. Lake Hills Gold is owned by Ken Spurlock of Sherville, Indiana. Driven by Jerry, trained by Jerry Hansen, driven by Tony Morgan. And tonight's late daily double, one and seven, returns $162.60. The winning trifecta, a combination of seven, five, one, returns $272 even. The Perfecta 75, $55.80.